ya YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Obsidian uh, for TTRPGs. And uh, in our, well, I guess uh, this episode's actually late coming out because I had some computer issues, so unfortunately we had a week of no things. However, this does bring up an interesting point, and I've mentioned this before, but I'd like to reiterate it. Um, my last episode got a dislike got one dislike and one like um so i guess that's okay I, I have no problem with you disliking the the episodes or whatever however i would really just ask you to please put a comment as to why you disliked it um obviously you dislike it because i did something or didn't explain something well enough or something like that but I'm never going to know if you don't give me any kind of indication of, as to why it was disliked. Anyway, that's my rant for that. Um, so in this episode, we're actually going to try and cover uh, both of these. Fantasy Calendar and Fantasy Content Generator. Now, full disclosure here, full transparency. I really have not used Fantasy Calendar very much. I've looked at it a little bit, so this kind of will be kind of uh, maybe a learning experience for both of us in the same. We might discover things together. Uh, however, it was something that I thought would be good for this series, and so I'm adding it. Um, I did do a little bit of playing around with it, but not a ton. Kind of like with the, um, uh, what was it, dice roller? No, custom frames or something like that. So anyway, those are what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to jump in here, make sure everything's updated. Um, I've pointed out many times that, you know, you can check for updates here for the actual Obsidian version. This is for all of your different plugins. However, there's also under appearance, if you actually choose one of the appearances, they have built in uh, one of the kind that you can get, you know, one of these guys in here. Um, that one's kind of cool looking. Uh, then you, there will also be a, a um, an update button in there. Um, the one I actually like and have used the most is the where is it? It's rose some uh, royal velvet. This one, uh, I think it looks kind of nice. Uh, but now, if we load that up and we come back into to 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 to, to uh, is it here? Yes. Now you'll see there's actually a check for updates in here as well. I just want to bring that up just so you know there is updates for themes as well. All right, so let's uh, get back on track and go ahead and choose our community plugin. So we're going to go to Browse, and I'm going to type Fantasy. Because both these have Fantasy in the name, we're going to do the Fantasy Calendar and Content Generator. The Calendar is by our friend Jeremy Valentine, who has made lots and lots of things uh, for the TTRPG world uh, for this, and then Fantasy Content Generator by Gregory Jägermeister. And this is just handy to have if you're more of the GM. Um, not so much if you're the players. I mean, I guess you could use it here and there. But let's go ahead and add these, install and enable. And Fantasy Content Generator here install and enable so when we start there will not be anything uh, if we click on there's a little icon right here that I'll point out later uh, also there's one for the sidebar up here uh, that's for the calendar however because we don't have any calendar selected we're not gonna see anything so if we come into the calendar as you can see it's pretty bare bones there's nothing in here um, what we want to do is click on calendar management here and then click on the little plus to create a calendar. Um, we can choose a preset for the primary calendar I'm going to create is just a Gregorian calendar. We also have Greyhawk, which is D&D uh, Galifar, which is from Eberron. Obviously Greyhawk's Greyhawk. We have the Barovian from like the Curse of Strahd. Um, and then this is Exandrian which is a critical role and then this is the main forgotten realms one and clarion of course is pathfinder so we're going to create a gregorian one first and i'm not going to call it that i'm just going to call this uh, 
calendar. I just have this called regular calendar. C A L E N D A R. So we're going to call this calendar. Um, we can, you know, have it display the day of the year in day view. We can, you know, set all these different options. Uh, whether we show moons, we can turn that off to not show moons. Uh, I don't find much reason, especially if I'm using it for session notes, uh, to actually show the moon. Uh, but as you can see, it does actually show that, you know, it has the moons in there. But we're going to turn that one off. Um, trying to think anything else. I don't think there's anything else I care about. And now if we go ahead and hit back, you'll see we actually have a calendar. We're also going to create a second calendar just for uh, events in a game. So if you're the GM and you want to host events or note that there are events, this is actually really good as well. So if we uh, go here, go to new calendar, and this time we're just going to do the Harptos one, which is the Forgotten Realms. And I'm just going to call it Forgotten Realms. Uh, F O R G O. Oh, I can't spell. G O T T -E Forgotten R E A L M S. Like so. And once again, don't really care about the moon cycle. Um, it does have one in there. You know, the saloon is the moon on this. We'll, we'll leave it on just so you can see it. This might, maybe you could use this. Uh, the moon is more handy on this one. So now we'll go ahead and close that. And you can see we have two calendars. So if we close that. Now I've noticed that we can't actually close this here. Um, I wonder if we go into a different one if we can. We can. I'm not sure why that is. Um, so the one thing with our session notes. So right now you can see it says November. Um, and with our session notes, for example, I'm going to put it down to March because that's where a session note I have is. Um, and uh, what I wanted to point out really quick before I do that even is, so I've mentioned this before, I wish there was like little scroll bars on the side so that we could actually navigate these things better. But if we kind of click on just, you know, the edge of them, uh, you'll actually see here's what the calendar looks like where we are also there's this one here which will generate the calendar right there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a note for my session notes let's say uh, it's March uh, what is my note Saturday March 18 uh, so if I hit control N here it'll create a new note uh, we're gonna just move it up into our session notes I don't know why I have this untitled Let's delete it. There we go. Uh, so anyway, here's our session note. I'm just going to call it uh, I'm gonna copy and paste because I'm a slow typer and prone to misspelling a lot of stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and say Saturday, March 18th, 2023. So this would be a game session. Um, I've already added, <coughs> if I do exclamation that, I've already added an image uh, map. So just to show you, you can have those in there. Um, I think it was D O Dochis right there. So we have a map that we want to have at the top. And then uh, basically just a bunch of the text that we're going to paste in here. So as you can see, we have that. If we go look at it, we have this nice little map of Dochis, which is uh, where we kind of started. We actually started here and then had a we kind of started in a flashback uh, of a previous event and then years later we came back in in our session so anyway that's our, our session notes for that now if I wanted to link that let's say to March 18th what I can do is click on March 18th and now it says oh do you want to link this to a note we're gonna say yes I want to do it to March 18th like so uh, I can give it an event. Uh, we'll, just, well, that's fine. we'll just leave it that. We can put description. We can put a start and date. Really, for session notes, that's not as handy. But now, you know, if I don't have this open and I'm like, oh, what happened on this session? I can just come here to the 18th, double click it, and it will pull up March 18th here, and it will show me my notes. So I can quickly give a recap of what happened. Um, 
if we want to switch to the other calendar, was it here? Yeah, switch calendars. We can go here. We can choose our two calendars. There's our Forgotten Realms. Let's say, and you'll notice that, that you know, this is the hammer. We have our 10 days in a week and, you know, our funky month layouts. <laughs> Uh, but if we go here to today or whatever, which is hammer, deep winter, first, I don't know. Let's say it's the 16th or whatever. Uh, what we can do here is, you know, let's say um, if we go, I wanted to point out this one. Nope, I think I have to change this as well. Switch calendars to Forgotten Realms. I wanted to show the moon. So here you can see the moon phases. So let's say the 15th is some kind of new moon festival that goes on for five days. So what we can do is come in here and click on the 15th, right? And we don't need to associate a note with it. Let's call it the, uh, I don't know, new moon festival. I you spell festival? Uh, then I could add a description. We could say it starts on the 15th. And then we can come in here and say it ends on the 20th, right? Uh, of the same month, same year. And if you want to have an interval, of course, you could do this. I'm not going to actually do that. Uh, we'll just leave this at, I guess, one. It's kind of weird that you can't undo. Like if I decided, oh, wait, I don't want to have that. You can't actually do it. So now you can actually see here that we actually have these five days are all reserved. And if we click on them, you'll see that it's the new moon festival and you can actually, you know, see the moon progressing from the actual new moon uh, all the way to, you know, this, is it crescent or waning? I, I don't ever remember. Does this tell you? Waxing, waxing or waning now. But uh, you can see it's not called the moon, it's the moon. So that is in a nutshell that place that uh, plugin. Um, it's pretty handy. As always, if you want more information, you can always come into the community plugins, go to browse, uh, type in fantasy, uh, go to the calendar here, and there's always a lot of information here, even links sometimes to other places, you know, uh, stuff that you can do. Um, highly recommend taking a look at that just to get more information. I just didn't have enough information or enough uh, content that I wanted to, you know, go into all this. But as always, you can do that. Uh, so the next one is actually really simple. Um, we're going to actually do it in our plugins folder. We're going to create a new note. And because this is called the uh, fantasy, F-A-N-T-A, actually I'm yeah, I'm F A N T A S. Fantasy content generator, and I misspelled content because I didn't put the T in there. All right, so the way this one works, and we'll go look at it real quick. I'm gonna go back to. Whoops, that wasn't. I didn't want to double click that. All right, so we're gonna go back to just tags because I like tags in the side, but. Um, Uh, hold on just one second. Um, doo -doo -doo, where was I? Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, use this note to do that stuff. So let's go in here real quick. So I got a little sidetrack uh, and click on this. So the biggest thing to note in this one is, you know, you can have it enable loot generation, you know, if you want it. Uh, and it actually has the standard currencies minus Electrum. Um, So, you know, gold, copper, silver, platinum. Sorry, I just got a message I had to look at. Uh, and then it, the, the big thing is this at symbol. This is how you invoke it. Um, so if we go in here and you'll see that there's tons and tons of little tables and lists and stuff that we can actually use. Um, you know, here's adjectives for different things. And you can go add more if you want. But basically, in a nutshell, all you have to do to uh, do this is you type the at symbol and it will give you all the lists of the things it can generate for. 
So for example, we have a trading post, you know, a little trading outlet or whatever you want to call it. So we can type, you know, we could type trading post or we could, you know, just actually come in here and click trading post and you'll see it actually generates a pretty decent little trading post, uh, completely random tells you you know the age of the trading post this is a mature one it's been there for a long time it's well established uh, it tells you about the traffic you know things that you can find shops services and and the like or you know if you're playing you're like oh, I need a name of an elf or something we can actually come in here and say okay I need a female elf and there's the female elf let's say we want the last name as well we could do elf again Actually, I guess you can't do it right there. It has to be the first thing on the page, I guess. I didn't know that. <laughs> so let's say, I don't know why there's a female elf last name versus a male elf. So, oh, this is actually the female full name. So we have Remedian Brightwing. You know, so we can actually, you know, quickly generate that. We can also, um, what were some other ones that were handy? There's lots of nice ones in here. Uh, mostly it's kind of names and stuff, but like let's say you wanted dungeon slash labyrinth. You know, you could hear this is the uh, horrendous kobold, I guess is a dungeon. Description deep within a secret laboratory in a haunted forest. The grotto is feared uh, for its inhabited, uh, uh, for it is inhabited uh, by powerful and mysterious creatures seemingly indestructible. So it kind of gives you something to run with, you know, look at this and say, oh yeah, okay, I can I can figure something out. So if you have writer's block, which I get all the time, let's go look at uh, one last thing. Um, I think it, the Inns and Taverns is pretty good. Maybe we'll do that. Or uh, loot treasure, let's do that. So if we do a loot treasure, it can tell you, yeah, I found a tattered music box and an enchanted uh, scroll. So you can then do that. Uh, and then I guess to end this, we'll actually go do the the in tavern, I think was actually a pretty decent one. So if we do this in tavern, it's called the white automaton, 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 automaton. I want to say automation, but I know it's not that. So here's the description. Tucked in, uh, tucked away in a hidden valley with tranquil meadows and a crystal clear lake. Here's the rumors around it. Uh, the locals tell a story of a powerful warlock who rules a uh, castle in the forest. It is said that anyone who enters must face the warlock in single combat. Word on the street is that a strange creature is living in the sewers. It is said to be able to manipulate the minds of lesser creatures, even humans. Rumors around uh, of a powerful dragon that is guarding a hidden city in the mountains. It is said that anyone who enters must face the dragon in single combat. So there you go. There's some real quick things that, you know, just generated on the fly. The, the phrasing, I don't know if the person is, is, you know, native English speaking. It kind of seems like sometimes it's not, or it could just be the way the generator is generating stuff. But anyway, uh, I think that'll do. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Click that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget to tell other people about my channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. We grow the channel. Everyone wins. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.